Hi, this is Trey from Straight Ahead Samples. I uh, wanted to do a quick screen share, walk through, show you how I use the drums in a track from start to finish. So we have a little tune here <clears throat> that I just wrote. I'm gonna put the drums in first. The first thing I would do is decide what the feel is, what the tempo is. So this particular tune is a little medium minor blues. So we're gonna go to our folder here and pull up medium 4-4 and I already picked out the tempo it's going to be about 155 150 let's say 153 for fun so the first thing I would do would be find a ride pattern something simple maybe even a comping thing that's good um, I would just play this in this is how I do it. <clears throat> Just put it in. I might just record it for a second and then I would just go in and drag it so it's way long. I don't need that many bars. Yeah, how about a hundred? Okay, so then I have a hundred bars of just Nice swinging pattern. Okay, so that's the first step. The next thing we're gonna do is just play the tune in. So Okay, so we've got the piano in there. Thanks to Ryan for playing that. Now we're gonna just play a real quick bass line. Something really simple. Next, what we're gonna do is um, now we've got the bass and the piano the basic tune is there so we're gonna go in and just kind of go through the drum part and tweak things as they need to be tweaked so right off the bat obviously I gotta tweak the entrance the tune doesn't start till let's get rid of this So the tune starts at measure six. Okay, so I'll just pull this a little right before six because it quantizes on, so it'll start. First thing I want to do is I want a two feel at the top. I think ride symbol two feel. comping if any. Let's go with nine. So we get 
to this little bridge part, we want it to start swinging. So for right now, we'll just leave it like this. And then back to two feel here. change symbols for the solo. So let's go ahead and draw a fill in. Yeah, sounds good. Okay, so we got the basic form laid out. So we got some two, start with the two feel, go to the swing on the bridge back to two feel fill into the solo so uh, obviously once we get to the solo I'm gonna want some comping something kind of interesting that sounds good and then uh, <clears throat> a couple other things I want to hit so Sometimes what I'll do is I'll just do a pass and I'll just kind of go through and hit things in the melody that I want to hit with the snare and the kick. Let's try one like that. Just little accents on the melody. Since I only have one pass through, I'm just going to quantize this to the 12th note triplet thing. I'll probably do another pass, but we're going fast. So, okay. So let's listen to that. Some of that stuff I'm going to want to hit with symbols too. Sometimes I'll just copy it up to this symbol. The same symbol that I'm on, hopefully. So it gets a little... So that works pretty good. Sometimes what I'll do is I'll cut out the symbol right on that. And this would be a good chance to use the, um, let's try to use the mid sample. So I'm going to bring this up to the highest velocity. So when this pattern comes back in, it won't actually start until beat two. Let's see how it sounds. That works great, actually. So actually, since it's a two field, it started on beat three. Let's hear it from the top again. Good example if I was doing the full track I might have the piano hit there or something hit with it so you see that if we had had if I bring this back down you can hear see the symbol hits on the downbeat right after we crashed on it it just sounds awkward so Uh, so I wanna 
hit these a little bit, just give them a little accent. Sometimes you can get away with just playing cymbal over top of the drum, over top of the snare, even over top of the ride pattern. We'll try it and see how it sounds. Okay, so I'm probably going to want to go in and tweak that a little bit, but that worked pretty good. So maybe I'll try using the ride. Sorry, technical difficulty. So we're dealing with this, and I think how I'm going to deal with it. For the most part, it's okay. Let's try doing this. So between each little hit, it'll do a new ride symbol thing, and we'll make them all. Mid patterns. That's pretty good. And this one too. So you hear it's kind of ba do do ba 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 ding da da ding. So we're not hearing those downbeats. section again. Not bad. Let's listen to it from the top. Maybe we'll put um something lead in to the top. things to notice that are kind of cool is listen to how the natural the ride cymbal sounds when it, you, you've gone away from the pattern we still hear the ride ringing it's not just cut off So that's kind of cool, even though it stops right here, we still have a natural decay on the ride symbol. That's one of the main things we tried to make happen. So a couple of things showed you about using the mid samples, just a little bit about sort of comping, playing your own comping in. You know, truthfully, I would probably use a mixture of this kind of playing and then more of the comping uh, sample, these guys. But uh, so that's that's basically it. Um, obviously, I would do a whole tune, and I would continue to for the solo. I would do similar things, grabbing some of the hits and stuff that the soloist does, or whatever it is that the piece is. So um, 
that's just uh, one cool example. I'll play it one more time. Thanks for checking out this video.